Hello, my name is Holly from My Daily Haze here on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for joining me today. Just a quick one. Um, today is July the 24th of 2024. Uh, it's a Wednesday. And let's just talk about a little bit of stitching. This first one is Santa and Animals. It's Christmas scene, Santa and Animals by Dakota Detweiler, treasured by Treading Creations. And it's stitched on one over one on uh, 20, was it 22 count hard anger? And got more of the deer coming in, started on his antlers and stuff. But it's coming along, it's currently at 9.79%. So yay, I'll be, if everything goes well in the next few days, I'll be done with this column and I can start on the next one. Awesome. Secondly is Mini Serenity Lane uh, by Donna's Gale Singer, <laughs> charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. It's being stitched on um, 28 count uh, even weave and um, it's currently at 3.72%. And since I reported last, I have finished off to the bottom down here and, re and started back at the top. And I think I said it's 3.72%. So I've got the first column done, just a few more to go. <laughs> a lot more to go. <laughs> but it's, let me squish down here and get this. Um, this, this one is uh, Story Keep by Tiki, uh, Story Keep Tiki Beach by Amy Stewart. It is being stitched on 20 count Ada, one over one full cross, and so and, and so is um, Serenity Lane is at one over one full cross as well. Uh, it's currently at 18.50%. Eight, I haven't worked on it today. I have worked on Santa today, but I haven't worked on any of the others. I've been busy. And I'm reaching near the bottom of that one. That's an accomplishment. I really love working in columns because I can see the finite end and then it's like each column is a finish for me. So lots of excitement there. And this is something you haven't seen. Um, this is the Celtic Jewel bookmark kit. Um, I think my, hu my husband picked it up at a craft shop here in the UK years ago um and he's done a few cross stitches over the years so i'll just show you my little scissor keep that he, he made me for our anniversary i think it was our first anniversary bless him but a few years ago he decided to make this for me um but his eyesight is he was working at night because that was his job he was in, on his quiet times he would be able to do something like this but he just couldn't see it very well so he um it's been sitting on the side and he says oh i'll do it i'll do it but it's been years right and eventually the last time i spoke to him i just said you know it's still sitting here just let me do it and he's like oh yeah okay i can't see to do it anyway <clears throat> so he started there's a little bit up here that he started uh, the yellow uh, but his stitches go opposite of mine also he was stitching three strands which is what it calls for but I don't like the look of uh, three strands or at least on this stitch so I've changed it to two strands so I've put in all the cut everything up to here yesterday um, and I'm nearly halfway which will be awesome um, just a second. Sorry about that. Um, I brined some chicken breast for my husband. Um, I, so I was just put it in the air fryer to cook while I was, and I forgot that it would beep. Sorry. <laughs> it's a healthy, it, yeah, he takes a salad in the summertime. He takes salads and in the wintertime, I'm making homemade soups to go to work. Anyway. <laughs> and that's a word I need to stop saying because I say it all the time. He initially did just a couple of strands of yellow up here. 
um, I don't know if you can see it clearly where I did all the colored work um, all the way down and I'll, I'll hopefully I'll be able to complete it soon. My friend Lindsay and I have have, have devised this uh, wonderful challenge that we're going to try to uh, categorize our our whips and in all crafts because we were multi craftual as people call it um, and basically take stock of our crafting areas and try to get it organized and we've kind of given ourselves the challenge of this autumn to get it done but this has been driving me crazy because it's been sitting there I, I've, I've said to him many times just let me do it so um, it was sweet of him to to buy it with the intention of getting it doing it for me but it's been there for years it's time for me to go ahead so hopefully i'll have that done soon the only thing i'm not well like i said i'm not crazy about the the three strands but i've moved it down to two so i should have plenty of thread anyway for that um and i'm, I'm not crazy about backstitch I, most people don't some people love it but i'm not overly keen on it and because it intertwines it is going to be a bit of a stinker to to keep track of but i've printed out two different copies of the chart one of them for to, to mark off my cross stitches and the second one to just to mark the back stitching so hopefully it'll be easier to to keep track of and lastly i finished those tropica socks hey i had a chance to wait on monday and so i sat there for quite a while um working on these getting them done this the heel my husband was so upset with me because i was telling you about my not upset he was just annoyed he's like why are you telling him when you make mistakes and i was like well i'm not perfect this is this is me i'm not saying i'm perfect i'm just saying i'm doing my best but these are the hills that the the shadow wrap hills that i was telling you last time that i am um, that i messed up when i was trying to do them when i had loads of people around me but they work i i did have to take some yarn and sew up the edges because there was a few holes but my feet won't care will they <laughs> and it's fine I'm, I'm not bothered by it whatsoever um i will put i'm so sorry for firstly i'm sorry that I, it took me so long to get the last video put out i know i only published it yesterday uh secondly um i still haven't got the dash cam off i've been busy um so i did say i was busy but i'm i'm I've now got all the bits I need and I'm going to be out all the, most of the day tomorrow again. So I probably won't be able to get the dash cam footage off. It looks nice and I just need to learn how to transfer it from the SD card over to the, my MacBook. Um, and I'm waiting for my son to, <laughs> to hold my hand through the process, hopefully. If not, I'll have to look at, the, the problem is that people do these tech videos. They don't go from tech stupid, <laughs> you know, legalese. They just go, oh yeah, well, this is how you do it. And it's like, well, they assume that people have a basic knowledge of what to do most of the time. Some of them are very good, but it's just about finding exactly what you need. It's really hard when you don't know all the names of all the bits that you need so that you can actually get the information from them. <laughs> Oh well, it's, it's a work in process, progress, um, and I'll do my best. Um, n n there will be a little video at the end, just a little bit in one picture. Uh, a month or so ago, probably, my nose is tickling again. <laughs> um, a, a while back, I went to um, Chatton to the post office there, and it was tried to get some footage when I was driving but my windshield was absolutely filthy but I didn't realize it until I looked at the video 
Um, but I did stop. I did take a picture of the outside, uh, you know, of, of the shop and a house across the street from it. But the, uh, on the way back, I pulled over and I took some a photo. It, it, it took a, video, a small video. The countryside across there is is just amazing and beautiful. So I just I put that little bit of snippet at the end of it. Oh, I'll try to get this video out hopefully today since I probably won't be doing too much editing. Um, and I'll try to do my best about the, the dash cam for the Switzerland dash cam because we're planning on to go out soon uh, in around here, you know, within driving distance of here and it's on a nice day. And so we can show people a few more things. Um, and hopefully that's, that's if I can get the dash cam footage off of where the SD thing and, and put it all together so I can show you because there, there is some very, very pretty things from Switzerland I want to show you and there's some gorgeous scenery around here. Wishing you all a fabulous day full of happiness, smiles and hugs. Take care.